So student athletes, we are on your side tonight. The goal of a new pre-filed bill in Alabama is to tackle sudden cardiac arrest. Doctors say it is the leading cause of death on the playing field. WFO 48 Sean Dowling spoke to the state representative who filed the bill, a mother who lost her child to a sudden cardiac event, and health experts about what's at stake here. Sean? Well, Liz, they all say with proper training, we can all turn a tragedy into a survivable event. That's why they hope coaches are willing to play ball and go through with this extra training. But when you have the ability to lose your life, I think that's a different aspect. I don't think anyone goes on the field wanting to die. State Representative Jeremy Gray explains his pre-filed House Bill 45 is all about raising awareness of this common problem. We have to take care of our student athletes because looking at the research, we're thinking about 800,000 student athletes in Alabama will be affected. Under this bill, the State Board of Education would have to adopt certain guidelines and make student athletes, parents, and coaches sign off on the signs and symptoms of sudden cardiac arrest before they can play. It would also require each coach to receive annual training, like more CPR training, and how to use an AED or an automated external defibrillator. And if they don't, they'd get suspended. Coaches probably not gonna like that, but it's only if they don't go through the training. But it's not just coaches who need to be in the know. The more people who understand how to use these life-saving techniques, the better. I did find an article that um, talked about bystander CPR versus bystander AED application, um, and the survival rate had doubled. More than 450,000 people die each year from sudden cardiac arrest, according to researchers at UAB. Madison County mother Dion Mack tragically lost her son Tyrell Spencer to a cardiac event over 10 years ago at the Dr. Richard Showers Rec Center in Huntsville and thinks a bill like this will help save lives. If you don't act immediately, that honestly could determine the child's survival or not. So we need to be able to prepare the coaches, the teachers, and give them all of the tools, not just the knowledge.